folks and welcome back to the channel. So we've spoken quite recently about the upgrade and I myself, I wasn't too confident in this upgrade. It was actually one of the last people to vote um, for it. The reason why is because I know that these upgrades are not very well planned out. They're not planned out in the sense that they don't reach out to every validator. They don't speak to every validator. They definitely don't speak to TFL and everything's just sort of thrown out there in, in the best hope that everything goes okay and everybody manages to get through and it's just not one of those things that we should be doing as a community as a developers community or anything period it guides are everything for validators for a validator to learn they must have guides they must have reading material they've got to have somewhere to learn the information from to be able to pursue these kind of upgrades but like i was saying right in my previous videos, I said that this would cause issues possibly with, for, for instance, the mobile app. <clears throat> the reason why is the mobile app is a very delicate situation. It is something that's owned by TFL and updated by TFL. Our development team have zero control over it. All they can do is put a pull request in and hope and pray that TFL perform that PR at some point or they make time on their end to get this done to get it all updated and get things moving again it's all down to the endpoints being down loads of different things across the board the one thing that i do know is you can make transactions everywhere else apart from mobile mobile is simply down the biggest issue is is mobile is the the main hub the big doodah this is where everybody does mostly everything because as a species, we rely on our mobile phones. You go nowhere without your mobile phone. It's as simple as that. For me, everything else is like a backup and mobile should be like the main hub because that's where you're going to get most of your consumer base. You're not going to be getting people that want to use mobile, but you're saying to them, well, no, you can only use your laptop. Well, they're going to go, well, that's no good for me. This is the future. So as you can tell, you've probably been trying to open your mobile apps and they're not working and they're not working because these updates are all out of plan they're all on the developers terms and a lot of this is simply pushed towards hexagon infrastructure and ensuring that hexagon infrastructure is up and running and everything's good with them they're all buddy buddy and don't worry about everything else and it time and time again it makes tfl look bad when realistically this isn't actually tfl this is just poor execution from the developer's standpoint so this upgrade in itself, there's been a tweet put out and I get it. People love good news. They, I, I totally get it. But this isn't something that is completed. Consensus may have completed it. 66% of the voting power may now be through, which is the case. But guess what? There's still loads of other validators that have not a scooby of what they're doing, how to form the upgrade, what they need to do, what they need to shut down, what they need to do with their feeders, their LCDs. I myself, I'm still in a learning phase. A lot of people that have joined LUNC are still in the learning phase and the developers have a very condescending attitude that if you don't know what you're doing, then you probably shouldn't be here. And it's not fair to have that kind of attitude. And this was something that was perceived by the Gaddakin community and people like Bilbo. If you can't run a node, you simply shouldn't have a node to begin with. And it just doesn't work like that anywhere with anything 95 percent of people have probably lied on their job applications to get jobs right it's it's one of those things that we've got to produce an environment that introduces room for growth and these kind of things are just not doing it so this attitude that everything's gone really great and we're doing really well and everything took only eight hours these kind of upgrades should take about 20 minutes at most but they didn't there was lots of different little things that went wrong. There was lots of things that we had to go through and mess around on the feeder, the LCD, going in, reverting, going back, start, stop, stop, start, loads of different weird things. And in the end, for me, it was a very, very simple thing of where we literally just had to start, stop something, and it all started running again on its own. It was just that simple thing that was preventing everything from ticking over again. So for me... Right, this isn't a successful upgrade. Mobile's down again, and that's probably not going to be up for possibly worst case scenario right now is 13 weeks, because that's the longest we've been waiting for TFL to perform a mobile upgrade so we could use it again. 
the likelihood is we've got to just accept that that's a possibility again. And this is why I was against this upgrade for the specific fact that it doesn't change anything. I've seen validators that have no idea how to do the upgrade and they're like, yeah, it's a really good upgrade. You know, there's lots of stuff in it. It's like they've just gone and looked at the, the, <laughs> the station proposal, read a few things that they think sound good and then come back and, and they're like, yeah, so they've done this. They've done that. They've done this. <laughs> and it's like, oh my goodness. You can't even upgrade your node, but you're really in support. I don't understand. But anyway, I don't always agree with everybody. And there's people on this list that I definitely don't agree with a lot of the time. But people then targeting this person saying, oh, you're just acting out. No, not at all. Not at all. It was a ropey upgrade to say the least. The RAM usage on this thing was insane. There was a lot of issues behind the scenes where the development team actually had to go and get help from another group of people. I'm going to leave those I'm going to leave those people unnamed for now, but just know that they're not the ones that when everything hits the fan and everybody's panicking, they're not the ones that have fixed this. They've actually had to go to somewhere else, they've had to speak to somebody else, they've had to get information to try and correct the issue with RAM leakage. And it was literally a huge sort of memory leakage as far as I've been made aware. It could be many other things. But what I do know is all of this kind of image that they keep portraying, getting real heavy likes, real heavy engagement in, it's not helping. And the reason why it's not helping is, is because a lot of people are praising this guy for work he hasn't done. And then he's got this attitude walking away. Oh, I've done a really good job. I deserve more money. You know, and then what are all of you going to be asking in a couple of days? Well, you know, when this J, when that J, when... When on ramps, when all of these different things. No, you're not going to be getting anything like that from this guy. You're all praising someone who is a lead developer of Doc's chain. He's a lead developer of another chain. And everyone's like, yeah, really good job. You know, really good job. Bend us over more. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's all got to stop. I'm really up upset that, you know, there's supposed to be people in, in the community who are really supportive of this community and they have absolutely not a care in the world that the system's just absolutely trashed so for example right let's go to a metric system let's get an overview oh 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 dear oh no oh no and this is because all of the endpoints are down all of the endpoints are off there everything's mismatched we've got a repository with tfl we've got a repository with the l1 we've got a repository with hexagon we've got hexagon forums commonwealth forums we've got agora forums we've got hexagon wallet tfl wallet trust wallet we've got all of these different wallets and not, we don't own anything <laughs> and it's just we're at a point now right where if we had our own wallet infrastructure like i proposed none of this would be happening we wouldn't be in this boat if people had listened and actually supported the idea of a pay per milestone system we wouldn't be in the where we are right now if we had halted any further payments we wouldn't be where we are now and it just for me right now it's all so 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 obvious that there's a real bad desperate attempt all of a sudden because they know the payment quarters coming up to make themselves look good Make it look like they're doing something and then the community are going to love it because once again, time and time again, you're going to see the same thing. And this is something that I've seen a few times in the comments down here is that I believe everything will be good from today. I've heard this way over a thousand times. I believe everything will be good from today because you've had a little update. That's okay. No problems. Right? As soon as they get their money, you won't hear from them again. And it's kind of the same with any paid development team. As soon as they get their money, you don't hear from them anymore. Right? We don't know what work's being done. We don't know if our money's being well spent. We don't know anything. As far as we're concerned, we're just a dumb community that pay these morons and you know, we're the idiots. <clears throat> and it has to change. And all of this change can come in a form of a united vision. It's so important. I've seen people because I've commented on that and what I believe is they've got alias accounts and they're going and they're targeting people and it's saying, you know, well, what are you doing? I'm doing loads. You know, I have done loads. I have provided loads. I've introduced many, many different contract systems, modules and websites. 
for this community free of charge never charge anybody a penny so i think i stand at a point where i have the right to call of all of this crap out right? i'm i'm doing everything that i do for free all right i'm not on twitter every other day making it out as if i'm doing loads of stuff when i'm not all right i give you an update when you need to get an update i give you the information as you should have it I'm not withholding anything from you i'm not going to you oh you know this update is really good it's a really good update, everybody. We're going to go to the moon, which is what I should be doing. Like, I should be doing that, but I'm simply not. So until all of the endpoint infrastructure comes back online, until everything is ticked off, cross the T's, dot the I's from TFL, mobile's going to be down again. The likelihood is we could be in a situation that we're in every quarter throughout the spends is lots and lots and lots and lots of these spam proposals. What else comes every spend quarter? You guessed it. Mobile's going to go down. And this is just simply because they time their updates exactly the same time to remove the community's voting. Kind of, we're going to come into so many issues. And this is always going to be why you shouldn't allow anybody to privatize anything. Because for all intent and purposes, they're rigging the vote a lot of the time. It's like rib rigging polls back in the. 1960s or whatever all of this has to stop and i know i keep saying that i know i keep saying it has to stop it has to stop it has to stop but it does and eventually we're going to get to a point where we do a video and go guess what it's all stopped guess what we own our own wallet guess what we're updating everything ourselves guess what we've got all of these amazing things come in but if you want to continue walking a path where this is all we get we get an update it breaks everything again and then that's it. And then they ask for more money. Then be my guest. I guess you don't want this chain to go anywhere. I guess you want the continuation of the price decrease to just keep happening over and over and over again. I myself don't. I myself, I want to see the on-ramps. I want to see the PayPal milestone system. I want to see Commonwealth built into the chain. I want everything to be okay. I want us to have a smart tax. I want us to have a smart dynamic commission module. I want to have all of these amazing things right? And the difference is, is myself and another person are going to bring that to this community and we're not going to ask for a penny, right? We're not going to ever hold anything ransom like everybody else does. We will build all of this and we will give it to the community like we have with everything else that we have built throughout this past year and four or five months. It's, it's one of those things now where You've got to stand out and you've got to stand strong in these situations and show people that, hey, this isn't acceptable. And everybody being happy with this now is really, you know, thumbs up really good. But what about tomorrow? What about the day after when you're all moaning? The price hasn't gone up again. You haven't got all of these different things. And then we get to the next situation like this. They put an update out and then you see the same thing. I think things are going to change this time. It's going to be different this time. It's like an abusive relationship. It's like going back into a abusive relationship, telling yourself that person's not going to hit you again when you know damn right they're going to hit you again. And it's just you're so fed on this idea of you don't want to hold development. You don't want to slow the blockchain down. You don't want to make the price go down. We're already doing all of that. right? There is no development. There's just bug fixes. I think we're at a point, like I was saying, where it's time to just accept this all for what it is. Stand together and show these people this isn't acceptable. Whereas 350, 51 likes really shows to the development team that, hey, this is acceptable. Hey, we will keep doing this. Hey, we can make decentralized decisions. And hey, we can do whatever the fuck we want. And there's no repercussions. That's the attitude that they're left with when they get this kind of support. What they should be getting is a community really jumping on them and saying, hey, you, you're not following governance. And hey, you know, all of these different things are a big issue. So I think there's probably a fair few validators that are simply not updated. I've seen a lot of different people um, putting a copy of the Debian validators list, showing what validators have updated, what validators have not updated. I think that's a little bit rude because you're trying to make yourself look better than others simply on something where everybody has a specific amount of time to do it in anyway so it's not fair that people are doing that i'm not going to do that i'm just simply going to say all of them haven't upgraded yet there's been enough that have upgraded to keep the chain running which is okay for all of us it's okay for me 
It's okay for you, but it's not okay for those validators that are now at risk of becoming jailed, right? They're probably small validators. They're probably really struggling and they're probably barely on their feet as it is, right? They really don't need things like this to keep happening. So yeah, like I said in my previous video, I kind of knew this was coming. I kind of didn't want to accept that it was coming, but at the same time, we did prepare everybody for this. Folks, have a really nice day. Stay safe, stay humble, stay aware, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.